back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. A happy New Year to everybody out there. Today we're going to dive into Bible study episode 32. This is the final Bible study for the year, so I'm very happy. We're diving into John chapter 14, verses 22 through 30. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer by me, and I end off with a prayer by me. If you guys can, can you please buy your heads and close your eyes. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. We thank you for continuing to be with me each and every single day, God. I pray that now as I'm about to get into this time of your word, God. I pray that your hands will bless and cover the word, God. I pray that you'll be able to speak through me, God. I pray that your word and your message that you have right today will be able to be fulfilled, God. And I pray that I'll be able to apply that message to my life, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, guys, we'll be diving into the word. Verse 22. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with the name, said unto him, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the world at large? Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My father will love them and we will come and make our home with each of them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. And remember, my words are not of my own. What I'm telling you is from the father who sent me. This is very important. I like that Jesus always acknowledged that his word is not of his own. It's straight from the Father above who is speaking through him. Same thing with me. God speak through me. My words are not my own. They are of the Father of in heaven who speaks through me. This is 25. I'm telling you these things now while I'm still with you. But when the Father sends the advocates as my representation, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and remind you everything that I've told you. This is also very important because we're leading up to um, Jesus getting uh, crucified on the cross. He was telling his disciples, even though I'm not going to be here, the Holy Spirit will be here to guide you and teach you everything that you need to know and remind you everything that Jesus has told you. Verses 27, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. This is a very important gift, peace of mind and heart. As peace is like the scripture says, peace is not something that the world can give. Uh, it's more of an inner thing uh, with peace. And that's an amazing gift. Peace is just wonderful. Verse 28, remember what I've told you. I'm going away, but I will be back to you again. If you really love me, you would be happy that I'm going to the Father who is greater than I am. I have told you these things before, before they happen, so that they do happen and you will believe. Just keep reminding them that I, I won't be here, I won't be here, but, but just love me and just be happy for me because I'm going to a better place. But don't worry, the Holy Spirit will be with you, so it's not like I'm going to leave you or abandon you. Verses 30. I don't have much time to talk to you because the ruler of this world approaches. He has no power over me, but I will do what the Father requires of me so that the world will know that I love the Father. I love the Father. Come, let us be gone. Jesus' time on this prayer is just uh, decreasing, 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 and he knows exactly what's going to happen next, so he's preparing himself or he's fully prepared already uh, for everything that's going to happen and he's not worried because his father is going to protect him and all of this is going to work out for the greater good. Now guys we're going to begin into ending your prayer. Father God we thank you we praise you we worship you God. I pray that you continue to be with us each and every day God. I pray that now that you just went over your word God. I pray that the message that needed to be received today was able to be received today. I pray that everybody's going to go into their week, God. I pray for blessings and covering over everybody, God. I pray that you continue to be with us each and every day, God. As your word says, you'll never leave us nor forsake us, God. In Jesus' name, amen. This is for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is the first Bible study for the year. I'll be back next week, Saturday, with Bible study episode 32. And don't forget to like. Subscribe if you're new, turn on your post notification. This is Motivation Young Christians. I'm out. Peace.